All right, so today is Friday, April 17th, and uh, here's what I got done this week. So I started getting the paint stuff moving, and I think it's coming out pretty good so far. Um, I'm still kind of balancing between finishing the setup of the shop and working on the airplane. Um, I had to change the configuration of the booth, the paint booth a little bit. I'll talk about that in a minute, actually. Um, I finally got internet in the shop, and uh, actually it's kind of funny. I got a landline as well because it's the same price to get it bundled with the landline and internet. Uh, so that's my first landline I've had, <laughs> I think, forever. So I can't wait to not use that. Anyway, so here's the paint so far, how it's coming out. Um, so I was doing kind of different processes on each part. Um, just to see what's going to go the best because these are, for the most part, you know, not highly, highly visible parts. But I think it actually came out very nice. I'm very, very satisfied with um, how it came out. So what I ended up doing was couple different things. So I started the very first parts I painted after, you know, some test stuff was um, the inside of the main gear wheel pants. Um, I started with this uh, white, it's like a filler primer. So it puts on a ton of material and then you're supposed to sand it off and, uh, and uh, then paint. So this one, I tried to sand it it was the next day and I tried to sand it and it was clogging up the sandpaper really bad and it kind of made this uh, gunk stick on there. So I'm going to let it dry for a little bit, you know, over the weekend and try to sand it again. This one I didn't sand and I tried to paint it as, as it was and you could see these kind of cracks that came through and I think, well, I'm definitely sure that that's because I put on too thick of a layer of the primer. So... This will have to sand down and, and re redo again, but because they're small, pretty flat parts, this will be no issue because I think I've solved it now. Um, so these three parts got the filler primer as well. This one I spent a long time sanding and getting it really nice. So you can see how well that came out. Um, and I'm perfectly satisfied with this. Um, there's not, there's a little bit of texture to it, but it's not really orange peel or anything too bad. So especially, I mean, you take five feet back, it looks perfect. So, um, and then with these two, this one, I did the same, same th process, um, different paint gun settings and it didn't come out quite as good, but it's still perfectly acceptable. And this one I didn't sand at all and it basically came out exactly the same. So uh over here i didn't spray any of the filler primer on this door um, from the factory this had definitely a different primer already applied to it than the other door and so i just kind of wanted to see this is a different primer whatever was on here was different than the other door and it was also different than the canopy so uh i just wanted to see what would happen if i just painted it and it came out perfectly good i'm very satisfied with the way this came out um, the paint booth seems to be doing a good job of keeping most of the imperfections off of it. It's keeping it clean. Um, so yeah, um, I like the way this stuff came out. So I wanted to get this done today, but I, uh, got this all prepped. I was hoping to, to, uh, paint it today, but I didn't get around to it because I'm still deciding whether it's better to use the filler primer in here before I paint it or not. And that'll be determined by So whoever said to use these zippers from Home Depot, that was a great suggestion. I put them on both ends there and now the door's nice and usable. So I installed all the lighting in here, which makes it really nice. And I actually just used a couple of these box fans from Home Depot, I think they're just like 18 bucks a pop. Two of them on the outlet there, and they make so much pressure on the lowest setting that I thought this thing was gonna collapse. So <laughs> I have 
the two duct fans are there and I had to get an additional box fan there to help make up air. Um, and so all three of these are running at full power and these two on the lowest setting and it gives a, a, almost a perfect balance. And I'm really satisfied with it. The air clears out as, as fast as I need it to to paint. And, uh, and um, what I do is I just open that garage door up a little bit and I built a little square box that fits up nicely to uh, the, the fans here and it creates a duct to vent everything out. Then I just lean up some wood against the gaps or um, where the door is open to the sides of the box and it stops any kind of um, backflow from wind outside or whatever coming into the shop. So yeah, um, and then I can unplug or turn them on and off as I need just so I don't end up collapsing this whole tent on myself somehow. And so just got some other parts that are drying up here from, from today's painting. I used a different fluid nozzle on the paint gun for these parts. So I'm going to determine kind of what, how it came out the best. This one's a smaller one. And I think it did a much better job. Um, as far as the smoothness of the paint, I actually screwed up a bit here. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, there's a drip, but hopefully I can sand that out and move on. And also you can see right there, there's like a little hair or something. That's the first hair or whatever that's gotten on any of the parts so far. But yeah, so I think it's coming together pretty nice. Uh, once again, this one had the filler primer on it. Um, and this door had the same primer from the factory that the inside of the canopy has. So depending on how this dries and comes out will help me determine if I need that filler or not. And I kind of think I'm not going to need it, which would be great. Saves a whole step and it'll get me building even faster next week. So, so yeah, I think that's the update for the week. And, uh, Next week I will get this thing done on Monday, hopefully. And uh, then I'll get the side skins, the seat belts, and all of this was just to get the inside of this canopy painted. So, all right, have a good weekend, everybody, and uh, get back to it next week.